Hi friends, welcome to Narayshai Technologies. Today let us look into a question which is asked in TCS from a chapter numbers. The question, the sum of the first n natural numbers is calculated as 1850, but actually one number was added twice by mistake. Find the difference between n and that number. Now, what is the formula for the first, the sum of first n natural numbers? The sum of first n natural numbers is generally denoted by sigma n, which is n into n plus 1 by 2. Now, according to the given question, he is saying that there is a number. In these first n natural numbers, there is a number which is added twice. Now, let us assume the number which is added twice is x. So, according to the given question, we can write n into n plus 1 by 2 plus the number which is added twice, it should be equal to 1850. Now, solving this n square plus n plus 2x should be equal to 3700. Now, using the simple common sense, we can tell what is the value of x. Now, here this is n square that is a perfect square, a perfect square less than 3600 and sorry, a perfect square less than 3700 and nearer to it is 3600. So, n square should be 3600 that is the value of n should be 60. Now, if the value of n is 60, n square plus n value should be 3600 plus 60 that is 3660 plus 2x should be equal to 3700. Now, 2x should be equal to 40, x equal to 20. Now, the question asked is find the difference between n and that number. So, the number which is added twice is 20 and the value of n is 60. So, the difference of n and x is 60, 20. So, the answer is 40. Now, let us look into one more question. Now, let us look into the second question. A is twice as fast as B and B is thrice as fast as C. If C takes 42 minutes to complete a race, then how many minutes will A complete the same race? Now, we know that to run a race, to complete a race, the distance is constant for all the three participants A, B, C. Now, we are given the relation between their speeds. So, let us talk about the speeds. Now, it is given A is twice as fast as B. If I solve it by ratios, I say like this, the speeds of A and B are in the ratio of 2 is to 1 and B is thrice as fast as C. So, the ratio of speeds of B and C will be in the ratio of 3 is to 1. So, what is the ratio of the speeds of A, B and C? Now, the ratio of A, B, the speeds of A, B and C Already we have learned a method in ratios, how to find the ratio of A, B and C when we are given A is to B and B is to C. Reverse in 2 into 3, 6, 3 into 1, 3, 1 into 1, 1. So, the speeds of A, B and C are in the ratio of 6 is to 3 is to 1. Now, when distance is constant and speeds are in the ratio of 6 is to 3 is to 1, definitely the time taken by A, B and C should be in the inverse ratio. Now, what is the inverse ratio of 6 is to 3 is to 1? Now, to find the inverse ratio of 6 is to 3 is to 1, the method what we have already learned. To find A, close A, multiply the other two terms, 3 into 1, 3. To find B, close B and multiply the other two terms, 6 into 1, 6. To find C, close C and multiply the other two terms 6 into 3 18. 
Now, ratio should always be written in lowest terms. So, 1 is to 2 is to 6. So, the time taken by A, B and C will be in the ratio of 1 is to 2 is to 6. That is, if A takes 1 minute to complete the race, B should take 2 minutes and C should take 6 minutes. But in the question it is given, C takes 42 minutes to complete the race. So, this 6 parts is 42. 6 parts is 42 and the question asked is, in how many minutes will A complete the same race? 1 part. If 6 parts is 42, 1 part should be 7. So, A will complete his race in 7 minutes. Thank you for watching. For more videos, subscribe to Naresh IT.